This clan is absolutely insane. They perfected their enemy and they have some wild, amazing triples for us to check it out. So stay tuned for some awesome attacks. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Miners Club. On today's video, we have this clan, they perfected their enemy and I went ahead and I put the, some of the best triples that they got into this short video. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end because some of these triples are absolutely beautiful. So stay tuned for some awesome attacks. Bacon Rider 69. And look at what we have here, some wild super archers with some scaly action. Uh oh, we do freeze the CC right there. Not freeze, we do make the CC invisible, but we got plenty of skeleton spells to come and take out this CC. Yes, we do. We clear the CC. That was beautiful. Spell adjustments there from Bacon Rider. And here it comes. Look at this. We have a Queen Charge. So that means we have eight healers on this attack strategy. That is absolutely nuts. We got the Queen Charge, and we're gonna have. The other healers for the super archers that are coming in at 9 o'clock. Remember, we have that ego down and we have the enemy clan castle down. So that queen, she should be able to just have a walk in the park and just go ham on the onto this bottom compartment here. Potentially, she wants to go and clear the multi-targeted inferno on the bottom side. The super archers on the top side, they're gonna do a beautiful job there to clear the other multi and we're gonna see how we approach them that all the expos on the top side because that is an absolutely spooky setup right here honestly i don't know how i would have end up hitting this attack this base but this execution on this attack was absolutely flawless this was planned to perfection and we got the super archers beating through a wall of course they just gotta learn from the queen uh they love beating through walls but from that from the skelly donuts to the queen charge to the super archers just staying up and look at those healers onto the water come on guys you guys can do better than that but all we have left here to do are those expos on the top side and they can reach quite a bit so and we still got the warden ability we're gonna go ahead and pop the warden ability because we don't want to lose any more super archers and we have one that locked into the oh actually the expo was tanking the, the other expo there the warden was taking the expo now the super archers she's been getting filled up by the healer and that is absolutely clutch because that gives time for the queen to start walking and wrapping herself around the entire base while the super archers on the bottom side break through the wall and tank for the expo although we got plenty of healers to keep everything alive this was absolutely crazy and we already have the wall open on the top side and bacon rider coming in with a skelly donut six or eight healers super archer attack that was absolutely insane so beautiful attack here from bacon rider 69 and if you guys truly enjoy this kind of content guys please consider subscribing and smashing that thumbs up we got clashington he's gonna come in with pretty much a mass haul we got 39 hog riders at town hall 11 that is absolutely a ton of hogs and who doesn't like to see a ton of hogs in action and we're gonna come in with some suey action from the bottom side there that main goal of these heroes is to be able to go and clear these enemy queen and the enemy king on the on the top right side here at three o'clock and we're gonna lure the cc we got a golem there to help protect this queen poison drop poison spell drops so our queen should be able to eliminate the enemy cc the biggest threat for all those hogs have been completely el eliminated king queen and clan castle and here it comes the mass hogs here comes the hog riders from the bottom side absolutely looking beautiful and we're gonna go ahead and drop the first heal spell there and we got some skeleton spells for the core to provide a little bit of tanking for these hogs because we have those those expos there that are centralized that are pretty much separated and we don't have a clear pathing for these hogs but these hogs 
are doing a beautiful job making their way through that eagle. We got a few hugs on the outer side too to make sure all the hugs don't go outside and shopping. We want to make sure we have some hugs into the core and this, this base is getting crushed absolutely quick. These hogs targeting defenses only. They're able to move their way quite easy from defense to defense, but we have to be careful here. We have to be careful with the poisons. We have to be careful with the heal spells placement. We have to be careful with big and giant bombs there because those hogs, they're super, super uh, easy to kill. So we wanna make sure we keep those, uh, those heal spells rolling. And look, we have the Sparks Riders against two Expos, and we have some skeleton spells on them. We can still got a free spell. Look at that, we got four Hoggies going in into that Expo. Smack, smack, boom, 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 boom. Let's go, baby. Get it, let's go. Woo! They take it down. The skeletons are gonna be no issue. And this attack, guys, 39 Hogs at Town Hall 11. It's absolutely insane. We pretty much had only a couple Wizards for cleanup. We didn't have really a lot to funnel. And we had a nice golem there to help the heroes. And that was such an attack here. Beautiful hit from Clash Clashington. This was not an overkill, but this was still such a beautiful triple here from Clash Clan Clashington. And remember the rarest 11, they perfected the enemy. So I went and chose some of the best hits that I liked from their side. And I put up this video together for you guys. So if you truly enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing and smashing that thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. We got some Skelly action, action with some super archers. I wonder why this clan decided to go with the super archers. What do they see for them to come and say, hey, I wanna use super archers instead of a Lalo, instead of any other attack strategy. And they choose super archers. I know once they, if we pay attention on this base, as soon as we clear the CC and the Eagle Artillery, the entire base is pretty much one big square. And I think the Super Archers can pretty much reach everything from the outside. And the Warden should be able to keep the Super Archers alive. And look, we got the Super Archers from the top side. The Queen is gonna be able to clear some splash damage over here. And that will secure the bundle for the super archers to make sure they don't go the opposite side because their, their range is so long, they could target pretty much anything on the base. And look at this mortar hammering onto these uh, super archers on the top side. Even mortars, guys, when you have super archers, mortars, they can be a big, big trouble because super archers, they, they cause so many housing spaces and they're so, so weak. But once you get those healers transferred into the super archers, they can be pretty much in unstoppable there. They will not die because those healers will just keep topping them up. And look at this queen on the top side. She's gonna come in, clear the expo, and we have a super wall breaker to give her access into the multi. This base was broken down step by step, layout by layout, guys. That was absolutely insane. These compartments were completely were completely broken down by jets from Rares 11s. And again, this is another such a beautiful triple from these guys. I just couldn't ignore the Skelly Dona Super Archer attack. And the next attack is gonna be absolutely wild. We're gonna get a mass hog attack and it was absolutely a killer as well. So you guys make sure you guys stay and check out the hog attack. And if you guys are liking this content guys, consider subscribing and smashing that thumbs up. But Jet, Jet from Rares 21. What a beautiful triple here with the Skelly Super Archers guys. These clans are absolutely insane on putting triples just like this. And remember guys, these guys perfected their enemies. So they're absolutely beasts. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way until the end. I really appreciate you. Consider subscribing and smashing the thumbs up. YouTube will start recommending our channel to other clashers, so make sure to shovel spank the thumbs up. And until the next time, Miners Club out.